the leaders of the Arab world had a meeting in Egypt. Did y'all see that on our news? All the Arab leaders got together in Egypt to talk about what they're going to do about them recognizing Jerusalem as the capital. Pike said the last wall would be between the Zionists and the Muslim world. Right? This is where we at. This is where we at. Y'all still up out there? All right? It's so bad, we received the letter. Philadelphia. Philadelphia received the letter from the Islamic leaders. I don't know why, Keith. They must know we crazy over here. You understand what I'm saying? So we receive a letter. Now, this is going to blow your mind, all right? Because James, James, am I lying? All right, we receive a letter. Now, let me show you a copy of the letter. We receive it in English, and we also received it in Arabic. Amen? And they are burnt about <laughs> this recognition of Jerusalem. Now, why are they done send that to me? I don't know. <laughs> why them people going to be watching me? I'm going to see all kind of people at the game today. Go whosoever. <laughs> In the world they gonna send that to me for. <laughs> but they watching you, Israel. They watching you. You got time clock. They watching you. Because your motions, your movements, your ascent, your rise, your prosperity, show the world where we at right now. They wrote us. Now look what they say in the letter, right? All right? Go to the next clip. Look what they say. Hallelujah. This is where it's from. The Saeed Abdul Hadi, the administrative trustee, the global guardian of the Al-Aqsa. You know what I'm saying? The Dome of the Rock and stuff like that. They gardens of it. And they writing us at Philly and they say, they telling us, Washington cannot broker peace negotiations on behalf of the Palestinian and the Jerusalemite family. They can't broker peace negotiations between the Palestinians uh, and with the 13th Jewish tribe of European Ashkenazi Khazars, who contrary to Nikki Haley, who is our UN ambassador, she asserted at the United Nations today, amen, they saying that contrary to what she said, this 13th tribe, these European Ashkenazi Khazarians do not carry any biological lineage to the original black, brown, 12 tribes of the Hebrew. You don't. <laughs> You're the only one that don't know who you are. The rest of the world knows who you are. You see, these people have no biological lineage. This is why the UN, uh, time after time, say, you don't got nothing to do with this city and nothing to do with this country. And they get mad. The UN is somehow against Israel. No, they're not against the real Israel. They're against the fake one. That's what these people wrote to us, man. No lineage to the original black, brown, 12 tribes of Hebrew Israelites. They can, nor can they trace any historical relation to Jerusalem or Palestine. You the only one don't know who you are, Hebrew. It's time to wake up. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. That brown skin you got is not a curse, it's a blessing. That woolly hair you got is not a curse, it's a blessing. It identifies you, and God has set a seal of love upon you. Know who you are, and know whose you are. The rest of the world knows. The rest of the world knows. Only we who are asleep and slumber in America don't know. the beginning of the end and they don't put their hands on the accursed thing it's the beginning 
of the end.